Okay, okay. Wrong way. Okay, wrong way. Uncommon thing in a common situation. If you see headlights when there should not be headlights, maybe we should uh, slow it down and kind of wait and see what's happening. Uh, this one right here, we're coming around the corner. It's like, okay, everything looks common. Okay, common in a common situation. Not a big deal. Perfectly fine. We come around here. Whoa, 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 whoa. We have headlights where we're not supposed to have headlights. Okay, this area where I'm at is not supposed to have headlights. That means headlights means there's a car or a vehicle with lights pointing at my face in my lane. That's uh, We're not supposed to have that. So as soon as I see headlights, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Here's my total stopping distance. I'm not going to close that gap until I figure out what this person's doing. And it's not because I constantly am submissive to, to things. I'm definitely not submissive to everything. The thing is, I'm on a motorcycle. And this is a car. Motorcycles versus cars, who wins? No matter what. Cars. So yeah, there is a pecking order on the road. So what this means is that I am going to default to that submissive tone, that submissive feel, that defensive riding. And I'm going to make sure I'm not going to be aggressive in trying to close that distance and find out what's happening. What I'm going to do is slow it down. I'm going to slow down and be like, okay, what are you going to do? Okay, I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like that dog that's just like, okay, what's this guy doing? Okay, I don't, I don't trust you. I'm going to keep moving away from you. My dog's like that. I don't know if you guys have dogs and cats and animals like that. But anyways, that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to slow it down. See how he sped? He was still maintaining his speed, and now we're slowing down. So now we have this total stopping distance, okay? This right here is I don't feel comfortable with this because now I got to move out of the way. I got to go this way. I got to do something because this guy is going to do something too. We don't know yet. I wanted that person to do something when I was way over there versus what's happening right here. So being situationally aware, recognizing uncommon things in common situations will help you out in this. That way you're able to modulate and actually do something with your body, like slow down and brake, decelerate, whatever it is you need to do, maybe switch lanes, do whatever. The thing is I don't want you to not see the hazard and then have to always, 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 always do your emergency skills because it, when it comes down to it, the more times you have to use your emergency skills, the greater chance you are going to fail at using those emergency skills. I want to be 100%, 100%, 100%. I don't want to be 100% with, you know, 300 close calls and possible crashes. I don't want to be 100% with that. I want to be 100% with maybe two close calls, okay? Less chances of me failing. I don't want to take the same test 300 times when I could just take it two times. All right. Great job, though. <laughs> Great job on this. There's no audio on that part. I think they, like, blurred it out. I think there might have been music. What you just saw was a clip from the live stream, which we do all the time on this channel every single week. So if you want to, click that subscribe button. I think it's right here. Maybe it's right here. I don't know. There's videos on the screen. Matt, what do I do?